डिक्टेशन स्टार्ट नाउ मैडम द बिल विच हैज बीन मूवड जस्ट नाउ हैज बीन राइटली डिस्क्राइब्ड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एज अ नोन कंट्रोवर्शियल बिल एंड एज अ बिल विच इज वेरी यूजफुल इन ऑर्डर टू डेवलप द एटॉमिक एनर्जी इन आवर कंट्री द बिल प्रोवाइड्स फॉर द रेगुलेशन ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिव एंड अदर प्रेस्क्राइब सबिस्टांसिस विच आर टू बी यूज विच आर बींग हैंडल्ड विच माइट बी प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड which might be imported so that they may not be any hazard which are incidental to the handling of such substances and adequate rules are to be made regarding them as far as these rule making powers are concern madam there is one aspect of it which needs some consideration namely as far as the production of these substances in the country itself is concern the establishment in which these substances are going to be produced are to be governed and controlled as far as the safety measures are concerned and as far as the factory act are concerned by the central government as far as this provision is a concern it is desirable because these are not just ordinary factories but these are factories that have to deal with certain substances for which special protection is necessary and perhaps the atomic energy commission is the right authority to determine what type of protection is necessary for that at the same time in the rule making power which the central government has taken precautions should be taken if not to see that the safety measures regarding other aspects of the matter as far as the work of the labor in these factories is concerned are also of the same standard if not of a better standard as those provided for in the factories act elsewhere that is attention not be concentrated only on the hazards incidental to the handling of these substances but other amenities to which the workers are entitled in ordinary factories should also be provided for in any rules that might be made under this measure along with this precautions this power is absolutely necessary and therefore i support the same secondly 
देयर इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्वायरिंग सर्टेन मटेरियल्स विच माइट यल्ड यूजफुल सबस्टांसिस दैट आर नेसेसरी फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एटॉमिक एनर्जी द आइडिया पर हैप्स इज टू गेट ऑल दीज मटेरियल्स विद इन द कंट्रोल ऑफ द एटॉमिक एनर्जी कमीशन बिकॉज दीज सबस्टांसिस आर वेरी रेयर एंड दे आर टू बी कंजर्वड दिस रेजेस द क्वेश्चन ऑफ रिसर्च एंड द फैसिलिटीज फॉर इंक्वायरी विच माइट बी अवेलेबल टू एन ऑर्डिनरी सिटीजन हु मे नॉट बी फॉर्चुनेट enough to have some employment or admission into these atomic energy establishments it is perhaps one of the conditions of modern life that any scientific research and inquiry involve dangerous implications so that they are to be controlled and coordinated under the aegis of the government and to that extent perhaps the freedom of inquiry might be affected but at the same time the history of scientific development has shown that all the worthwhile inquiries or many of the worthwhile inquiries and inventions have been made by people who are not easily amenable to any coordination or regulation of the type to switch the government is normally accustomed and therefore some scope has to be left for free inquiry by these in the community also i do not know how that can be done but perhaps one of doing it will be to disseminate as much of scientific information as is possible in the community to largest possible extent so that at least as far as the paper work is concerned no one is handicapped i am just a layman and i am not quite acquainted with the various types of developments that are going on regarding the issues connected with the development of atomic energy but there seems to be some indication that any worthwhile jump that will now come in this particular field is likely to be on the theoretical plan because as far as the practical aspects are concerned we have reached a dead end and it is not possible to go beyond that in view of this it is all the more necessary that as far as the theory is concerned and as far as the basic material connected with this theory is concerned it is disseminated to the largest possible extent in our country so that our people may become conscious of the type of work that is going on 
and of the type of work that is needed in order to make further progress in this field and various other fields in this country thirdly there is the question of acquiring certain mineral rights as far as these substances are concerned here again it is necessary that the authority should be centralized and obviously it would be in the hands of the central government and the atomic energy commission but again this also raises the further question of paying adequate attention to the interest of the states that are concerned in whose areas these mines are located